Alright everyone, welcome to my first Flash CS4 tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be learning how to make a mute button in Adobe Flash CS4 using ActionScript 3.0. Uh, it took me a while to figure this out on my own, so I'm making this tutorial, so it hopefully it does not take you as long as it took me. So right now we're just going to import some audio to our stage. This is just a random song. Um, and we're going to drag, I mean, to our library, and we're going to drag this over to the stage in this key, in this layer, and we're going to name that layer Sound. We're going to make a new layer and call that Mute Button. And we're going to go all the way, way down here and just insert two frames. And now on the layer Mute Button, I'm going to draw the Mute Button, which will be a speaker. And hopefully this will sort of resemble a speaker. Yeah, that's not bad. That's, that's pretty good. Okay, and now we're gonna make the lines so when the speaker, when there is music playing there, are, these lines will be playing as well. So, convert this one to a button. We'll call that Muty Muty. And edit it just so. Right. Uh, when we roll over it, it'll be a little bit of a lighter color. So, and on the down, it'll be the same color as before. And then we're going to go ahead and edit our action script so the mute button actually works. So, we're going to. Define a function set mute. Actually, we're gonna make this volume as follows. Transform equals new. Sound. Transform. And our two values will be O and one. And don't worry about like pausing this or and copying it down from the screen because I'll copy all this code into the sidebar and you could just copy and paste it from there. And now we're gonna uh, define the variable mute and uh, and our mute button. So we need to go and define this or name it something. Go to properties, instance name, and we're just gonna call it mute button. And go back to action script and mute button. As usual, add event listener mouse event click, and the instance will just be toggle mute button. The function toggle mute button. as follows. If mute mute equals false set mute 1. And that's just saying to set the mute at 1 so to turn it on I believe. <laughs> or to turn it off. I'm not sure. Anyway. Uh, else mute equals true set mute zero 
And that's it for the mute button itself. We're not done with the lines yet, but we're gonna go ahead and test the movie, and it should work. Hopefully. Oh dear. That does not work. <laughs> so I did something wrong here. Huh. <laughs> that was stupid. Probably should have caught that a little bit earlier. Hopefully it'll work now. Alright. So now we have music playing right now. And now we don't. We still have these lines here that we want to fix. So we're gonna select these lines. Not this. And convert to a movie clip. And we'll just call the Ah a... Doesn't really matter. We're gonna name it though in our properties, we're gonna name it. Uh, mute with two T's and we're gonna go back to our action script and if mute no oh, wait a minute no we're gonna double click here and go to our timeline and insert a blank keyframe here so there's one keyframe with the lines on and one without it and in each of these keyframes we're just gonna write a simple stop command Now we're going to go back to our action script. And we're going to say if mute, then our movie clip go to and stop on frame one. And otherwise, mute go to and stop on frame two. And that we should be done. Let's see how it works. Music's playing, lines are here. Music's not playing, lines are not there. It worked! Okay, and that is it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.